testimony, the top U.S. diplomat in Ukraine, William Taylor, told congressional lawmakers Tuesday the Trump administration held up $391 million in aid to Ukraine for the purpose of pushing Ukraine to incriminate Trump's political rivals, particularly presidential candidate Vice President Joe Biden and his son Hunter. In Taylor's opening statement, which has been made public, he lays out his interactions with Gordon Sondland, the U.S. ambassador to the European Union, a wealthy Oregon hotel magnate who received the ambassadorship after donating a million dollars to Trump's inauguration. Taylor says Ambassador Sondland told him that everything, including security assistance, was dependent on the Ukrainian president, Volodymyr Zelensky, announcing an investigation into Burisma, the gas company where Joe Biden's son, Hunter, was a board member. Taylor said, quote, Ambassador Sondland told me that President Trump had told him that he wants President Zelensky to state publicly that Ukraine will investigate Burisma and alleged Ukrainian interference in the 2016 U.S. election, unquote. Taylor's testimony offers the most damning evidence so far in the ongoing impeachment inquiry. On Tuesday, amidst Taylor's explosive testimony, President Trump sparked widespread criticism by tweeting that the impeachment inquiry is a lynching. The comment was widely condemned as racist and grossly historically inaccurate. This is Democratic Congress member Hakeem Jeffries. Thousands of African Americans were slaughtered during the lynching epidemic in this country for no reason other than the color of their skin. The president should not compare a constitutionally mandated impeachment inquiry to such a dangerous and dark chapter of American history. It's irresponsible for him to do so, and I hope that he will apologize.